What's up everybody, Mikey Dread here. This is I Bowling on Bowling Science. And I'm just stopping in real quick to set up some new balls. I got some new textures in from my buddy Timo. He's my virtual pro shop guy. And we're gonna do another little quick tutorial about how to set up your own custom bowling balls. It's probably the biggest question that I get from people when they watch what I'm doing up here and they see the bowling balls and how I'm setting them up. Uh, I highly suggest, because of the carry down in the game, because of the oil patterns, I suggest having an arsenal of balls that do hook quite a bit uh, from, you know, 60 to 90. And, you know, your big hooking stuff, you want to make sure you have stuff of different lengths uh, from as early as 20 to as long as 70 maybe um, for your bigger hooking stuff. That way you have versatility and you maneuver around it. We're going to no more further ado this. Um, let's head over to Luxury Strikes. Feeling a little swanky. They might charge us $7.50 a game, but it's worth it. We get like $12 martinis. Also, while I'm here, let's show off the new oil patterns. There are some new ones here, the traditional ones. But here's a new one that just added. New update that Premium Bowling added. 44 foot the wall pattern. This is very indicative of a modern house shot. Um, you can definitely see that the way the oil is on this pattern is very much inspired by real life oil patterns if you've ever looked at an oil graph from a tournament or from a, just a house pattern graph it should look something kind of like this highest concentration of oil in the front medium and then light through the middle so that you have this front to back transition and then also you've got this room of just straight hook to the right so you get your feet if you're right-handed the goal is to get your feet far enough left and feed the ball so if you hold it tight there's oil to hold you straight if you miss right there's a little bit of friction there to make it hook and if you get the right reaction and get your feet in the right place you should have a lot of room I expect high scores on this pattern here's faithful looks like another uh, really tough pattern uh, looks like an old-school tough pattern it's 38 feet but it's got a lot of heavy volume through the mid lane so this doesn't have a lot of front to back taper um, this pattern here has uh, quite a bit of oil on the outside too. There's no light spots anywhere and really the heaviest concentration is here um, It's gonna be a tough pattern to play um, You know you can play it in the middle and play it like it's flat, but I don't know what's gonna happen out here Maybe you can play this notch right here where the two heavy oil parts are and then you've got some light oil So maybe you can play here, but who knows that's faithful We have the master pattern This also another flat left to right pattern at least at the mid lane in the front. There's a little bump uh, but it doesn't look like it looks like the heaviest oil is right here. So this is kind of maybe a modern US open pattern a little bit longer though All right, so those are the new patterns. Here's the Christmas tree. I think that's yeah everything else here. You've seen so those are the new patterns I right, might as well boot one of those up You know what house shot that's what well what I'm calling the house shot. Let's go to that wall pattern All right, and let's crank it up Start all right, look, it looks really nice. Grab my controller here. All right, we've got the zing out, and now this is the old artwork. This is why we're gonna change it up. But look at that, that's just beautiful. Um, let's hit escape, and actually we don't even have to hit escape anymore. Just hit the B button, and it'll bring up your balls. This is an easier way to change balls mid-match. So it starts in your change ball menu. Uh, we wanna get out of there and go to customize. So, first thing we're gonna do is change up the stuff that we have in here. It's got the bad logos because I got new stuff. All right, results we already did. I did drill a new results, so there's a max flip results, and then there's also a, an early rev results down here. So let's go ahead and change out the zing. We're going to pull it up. We're going to edit. I already created this ball. Um, it's got a length of 20, the shortest, with the max hook 95, well, the max that I'm using because I'm holding out for 100 in case we got some new bowling balls coming out in the future. Um, but I still want to take advantage of, you know, most of the hook available. So it's a, it's a balance. We're going to change the texture. When you have your PNG file, which is the type of image file you have to have, um, mine are here in this skins folder, you want to make sure that you use a, the same PNG file for both texture and light texture. Um, that is the secret. That's at least how I do it. So we have the Zing PNG, select it, and then we're going to go ahead and do the other one as well. Zing PNG, select it, and there it is. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Um, great work, Timo. I love the way that your stuff comes out. They have a pin. They have both logos. I think they even have the USB-C logo. We're going to leave the rest of this. Metallicity, the ball's not pearl at all, so it's totally smooth. Or totally no pearl. And then smoothness is the, the sheen. You can see here it's kind of shiny. 
real shiny, then you got kind of like a smooth finish all the way down to dull. So we're going to keep it dull and just leave it as is. Hit save. Boom. And there it is. So there's the zing looking way better now, 95-20. Um, the zing and my results are all at 95 hook. The max flip results is 70 length and the early rev results is halfway between the zing and the results at 45. Okay, here comes our Zing Hybrid. Hooks less than the Zing and goes longer than the results. So there's your combination. Um, this ball is really good for me in real life on flatter patterns, so that might work out too. Let's edit it. We're going to do the same thing real quick. The Metallicity, I have the ball halfway because the ball is hybrid. Um, and so it's half pearl, half solid, so I just did that. Smoothness, I kind of left it over here in the 70 range to kind of go... Uh, with the length of ball is not polished out of the box. Um, might be compounded. I'm not actually exactly sure, but I keep mine kind of smooth, like a 2000-ish. So this is reminiscent of that. And, um, this looks, well, it's going to look really good once we swap it over to desktop skins 2. And we have Zinc Hybrid. We're going to select that, go over to the other texture, Zinc Hybrid. All these I have set up. Um, if you are if you want to check out the eyeballing group on Facebook, I think someone made a post in there about the size that the PNG file has to be and where to put your logos to center it if you want to start making your own custom bowling balls. Um, I don't do any of that. Uh, like I said, I have a buddy, uh, Timo, his name's Tinky on the uh, Tinka, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, in the game. He's awesome. He's been my virtual pro shop guy. And uh, so I just leave him to it because he does a way better job than I could even if I spent some hours learning it. Wow, those look great. Okay, Conspiracy Theory's already there. Squatch Solid, he did me one of those. This ball uh, was, you know, at its time, the hookingest symmetrical uh, ever. So I just kind of left that as a 90 hook ball, my biggest hooking symmetrical. But it reads at 40. Um, I think we're going to knock the hook down to 80 and, and have it read at 40. Uh, just so that it's a little bit smoother shape by even more. But let's go ahead and edit it. Let's knock that... Uh, 80. Metallicity. It's a solid ball, so none. Smoothness. I want this one real dull, so there it is. Kind of like the Zing as a, as a smoother option to the Zing. If I start with this ball, I can move to the Zing. There's a lot of carry down in this game, so mostly it's about balling up. Oops. We forgot to put the texture on, so let's see how that looks. Documents. Desktop. There it is. And Squatch Solid. I haven't made a Squatch Pearl yet. I'm not going to do that yet. Um, I haven't thrown one of those in real life. <clears throat> so I'm just going to leave that be for now. But if you guys want to see a Squatch uh, Pearl in my hands, just let me know in a, in a comment. I'll do that. We'll do it up. I'm totally down with using anything. We'll uh, create whatever ball and adjust. Looking good. There's the Squatch Hybrid we already had going. The Closer and Closer Pearl. All right, well, that's all of those. Now we're going to make a new one that's based on the counterattack. All right. But we're going to edit. This new ball will be Phantom. We have, that's the surprise, everybody. We got a new ball, Phantom. I'm a big fan of these. I had the original urethane gray Phantom, which was the high flaring version. Um, that ball's got weight holes in it. It's been drilled like three times. So I'm retiring that ball. But I do have a new Phantom that I drilled short pin uh, to kind of maybe take the place of that. And uh, that ball rolls really early and it's just really smooth and it takes forever to finish. It, it's great read. It kind of rolls like my urethane, but it hooks maybe four boards more because that cover stock, I left some surface on it rolls really good let's set up the textures first so that I don't forget all right desktop skins too and phantom oh look at that Brunswick logo already this I think is is one of the classiest looking bowling balls of all time I think it's one he did a great job with we're just gonna sit here and look at this for a second Wow, that thing's beautiful. All right, let's set it up. I want this one to be early, like 30 length, but it's going to hook 10 more than a counterattack because this ball would be earlier with slightly more hook than the counterattack. Very similar diffs. Um, 
because they're they're low flare bowling balls to, to begin with, just you know in that 30 diff realm. Uh, but this has a little bit stronger cover, I would say, a lot stronger cover maybe, because uh, it is designed to roll early. Wow, that looks so good. Look at that big Phantom logo and Brunswick logo. It's gonna look so good going down the lane. We're gonna leave it super dull, so we can see all those colors, and we're gonna save it. There's our new ball. So also. How you set up balls that you want to use. Um, normally, I choose a, you choose your first ball first. So let's do the zing. All right. Second ball. Normally, I choose the same ball, so it doesn't change me in between frames. I only choose a different spare ball, which is not the second ball. Um, this will be first frame, second frame, and it'll alternate like that. Uh, I don't like that very much, so I just normally make it the same. But for the sake of this, we're going to show off uh, one of the new balls going to show the Squatch Solid because the Squatch Solid hooks a little bit less and goes a little bit longer than the Zing so we can show the two of them in comparison all right and then oh I didn't do it right ball first ball Zing second ball Squatch Solid and then you're supposed to hit spare ball that sets up your spare ball right now I'm gonna just set it to uh, our new Phantom because that's really cool and that's gonna be a little bit less hook than the Squatch solid even. So let's see how they roll on the house pattern. Uh, we'll start with the zing. I know my stuff hooks a lot, so we're gonna move our feet left. Gonna probably have to play like fourth arrow row. Maybe get it right early to bounce it out of that friction, but the ball does hook when you get it right. Alright. Well there it is. That was pretty good. It deflected a little. I can probably move a board right. It was a pretty good guess. But that's a smooth shape here. Now with this ball, I should be able to move a little bit further right and play a similar break point and get the same kind of read. So let's see how that goes. Let's see here. Kind of close, yeah? Okay, I gotta move a little bit further right. I like that. It gives me more of a symmetrical finish where I would have to have my feet a little bit further right if I was getting steep. Good at missing that. I was just chucking it though. All right. We're gonna swap back over. Where's it at? That one. Let's grab Squatch. Yep, and I didn't move my feet so we're gonna move just a little bit more right. Bam. And let's see if we can't show kind of uh, the comparison. And then we'll go to that uh, phantom and see what we have. There we go. I got it to the friction. There you go. Nice smooth shape. That looks good. Okay. And then the newest. Let's go ahead and grab that phantom. Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Oh, they look so good. All right. And let's move a little bit further right. Get this thing rolling. Let's go. Yeah, real smooth. Nice. That's that's exactly what I wanted out of these. Move a little bit further right. This is crazy. If I made a real life video with these bowling balls, it would happen the same way. So we move a little bit further right and we'll just chuck it at it. Keep my feet in the same spot so that I have some consistency. Oh, that looks good. Phantom's going to be my new spare ball for sure. That thing is useful. Let's grab it up as it rolls by. Oh, I missed it. Let's catch up. There we go. Move a little bit more right. Let's go. And there it is. There's all three shapes. We had a strong asymmetrical that reads early. We have our strong symmetrical that reads early. And then this phantom was our weaker symmetrical that reads early. I mean, if that ain't proof that this game works very similar to, uh, to it's a very close approximation simulation wise to what we see in the real world and, and what we see in my bowling science uh, episode. So I appreciate you guys hanging out. This is just a little quick little blurb to show you all how to make your own bowling balls and how to set up your, your arsenal. 
Again, remember, set your first ball and your second ball to be the same. If you're about to bowl online or in a match, it'll just save you time not having to change balls and keep your feet in the same place. So if there's any other tips you guys want to see, stop back by iBowling here on YouTube, and we'll get you loaded up with your latest tips and tricks for premium bowling on Steam. So we'll catch you next time, and let me know what kind of bowling balls you made. Tag me on Facebook, uh, leave me a comment, let me know what, what you are making or what you want to make. And uh, I'm curious to see what you got out there. So until next time, we'll see you.